Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be packing up for me to go on a work trip. Now, this is something a little different. So I don't know if I really went into this, but last fall I changed jobs. And so now I'm going to be traveling here and there. So this will be my first work trip that I am away for like overnight. So I'm packing up an overnight bag. It's just a two day trip. So it's pretty short um, as far as lengths of a work trip go. Um, but I want to share with you guys what I'm packing and how I'm packing and what I'm using because I do have to take like my work stuff. So that means my work computer. I'll also be taking my personal computer because I don't know what else I would do in the evenings when I have like time by myself other than like be watching YouTube or <laughs> working on videos and things like that. So I'm going to bring all that stuff with me. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm packing up and the bags I'm using, what goes in my toiletry bag and my snacks and all of that. So let's go ahead and get into packing for my work trip. All right guys, so here is the beginning of my packing process. So let me walk you through my bags that I'm gonna use. The first thing is that I'm going to use my Poppy and Peonies Voyager Weekender bag. I love this bag so much and I don't get very many opportunities to use it just because I usually have to pack a little more than it can fit, but I think it's gonna be perfect for this. Um, my only concern is that I won't have a rolling like suitcase, so I'll have to carry this um, myself. So as long as it doesn't get too heavy, I'll be fine. Um, just cause I know I'll be walking through airports and things like that. So, but I really want to use it because I love it so much. It's so pretty. So love that. So this is what I'll be packing all my stuff in for overnight. I'm also going to take my personal computer with me. So my personal laptop, and I love that it has a pocket that's really good for holding your laptop. This version of the bag, it does not have a padded sleeve, but they just came out with a new version of this bag that does have a padded sleeve. So, and it's back here in the back, which is amazing. So perfect for putting your laptop back there. Also, if you want to use this as a carry on and like you have a rolling bag or a personal item, I think it would fit as a personal item. Um, there is a luggage strap in the back here and there's a little back pocket back here. So lots and lots of pockets. Uh, one of my favorite things about this bag is that it eliminates the need for a bunch of like small kind of organizing pouches and things like that because it has these two pockets back here these slip pockets has a zipper pocket which is perfect for like undergarments um, especially you just have a few um, for a little getaway it has a key leash I forgot to mention that I love that and then over here it has two more slip pockets and this jewelry tab so you can put earrings on here and then over the tab you can put bracelets or rings or anything like that that you would need to attach so anything you want to just slip over this little band, you can do that. And then you don't need to bring in jewelry organizer. You have it all in one um, space. So I really love that. It also does have two pockets on the outside. Um, it has another one of those kind of like folder pockets on the front and then another slip pocket in the front as well. And the bottom does zip open for more storage. So really great bag. I love it for a little quick little getaway. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to use it for my trip for work, but because I'm traveling for work, I do have to bring a bunch of work stuff. So I'm bringing a little, um, like purse. It's just like a quick little, um, like crossbody purse. And I usually carry something like this when I go into the office and I can fit it in my backpack with all of my work stuff. So I'm also going to bring my work laptop, which is in my office right now, but I have um, my clipboard with some paper in it because I'll be taking notes and things like that. I have a little pouch with some pens in it. Um, this folder has a bunch of floor plans and some different notes about the different facilities I'm going to. Um, my laptop cord. And then I have a bunch of work tools that are like tools I need when I'm visiting sites. And this guy is actually for the airplane. So this is for my phone. And what you can do is basically you put your phone in this little section here and then it will attach to the um, tray. Okay, and then this little piece, this piece back here, these two separate and you can attach it to the little tray um, that's on the back of the seat in front of you. So you can use it to like hold your phone up. You could use it to just like sit your phone on the table itself and be able to watch it that way. So I really like it. It's pretty versatile. So I appreciate that. 
and it just makes it so you don't have to hold your phone the whole time. Um, I have a pretty short flight, so I'm going to take a couple of books, but I'm definitely probably going to use my phone for the majority of that flight. And then for all that stuff, I'm going to use my Petunia Pickle Bottom Sink Backpack. Um, I like this backpack because it is lightweight and it's a little bit smaller than my normal like work backpack but it fits everything that I need and it's really well organized. It does have a little laptop sleeve in the back. It's got a bunch of slip pockets down in there that are kind of hard to see. Here we go. Okay, so it has six or four slip pockets down there. It also has the laptop sleeve in the back. It has a place to, um, you know, two like cup holders back there um, or on the side. And then this little slip pocket in the front that has more pockets inside. And this cute little section up here, which is insulated. So I'm going to put a couple of snacks in here for myself for like breakfast time, um, kind of early morning snack, things like that in this pouch. But all of my work stuff will be in the backpack. And I originally was going to just do one bag and put all my work stuff in the same bag. But I figured I'll be at different sites for this trip. And so I need to be able to just carry my work stuff separately and then have my overnight stuff in a different place. So that's that. Let me talk you through what else I'm going to pack. Um, I did decide I'm going to bring a little workout outfit. So just a little like long line sports bra and some shorts just in case I feel like getting a workout in. I don't know that I will, but if I don't bring it, I will want to work out. So I'd rather just bring it. And then I'm going to bring this little lounge set. It's just a big, um, like an oversized t-shirt and a pair of leggings. They're pretty thin leggings. So they're really my like lounge around the house leggings. And that's actually what I'm going to wear to lounge around like for the evening. And then I'm also going to wear that as pajamas. <laughs> I figured I don't need like separate lounge wear and pajamas because it's just going to be me. So it's fine. I'll just go with that. And then my outfit for the next day is going to be this little blue top and a pair of jeans. I've gone back and forth about jeans versus like my joggers. I do have a pair of really comfy joggers that I love, but I think I want to go with the jeans. We'll see. I might, I might change that, but that's what I'm going with right now. And then I'll show you my travel day outfit as well, because, um, I'm taking like two layering pieces and they will coordinate really well with this whole outfit too. Um, I do have this little pouch out because I want to put together a little first aid kit for myself, a little med kit with just a couple like things of medicine in it just in case. Um, and I'll show you my toiletries and makeup as well. I'm also going to bring my packable rain jacket because it looks like it might rain. <laughs> like there's rain in the forecast here um, for the next few days and I'm staying within California for travel. So it could rain um, where I'm going as well. So I just want to have that just in case, but I hate, hate, hate to wear a big raincoat because we never use them. We, it's very rare that you actually need it. Even if it's cold enough to need it, like it's probably not raining <laughs> at the same time. So it's very rare that you need something like that in California and having a giant coat is just so cumbersome when you're traveling. So I figured my packable rain jacket would be perfect. I'll probably put it in my backpack. And then when I'm not using it, I can just, you know, take it off, pack it back in the bag and be good to go. I have a little kit here for my electronics, which I'm charging my portable charger right now. So that will go in here. And then also I'll put my charger for both of my phones, my work phone and my personal phone um, in here as well. And I'm also going to bring the sound machine because I found that if I don't take a sound machine with me, I regret it. So I always use a sound machine. Um, we use one at home every night and I'm just so used to it now that I need it when I travel. So I'm going to bring one with me. And then you guys are really going to laugh because no kids are coming with me, but I'm bringing kiddo like snack towers. <laughs> and I figured this was good just for my like crunchy snacks that I want to bring. So I'm going to bring a few different um, kinds of snacks. But one thing I've not mentioned is that I'm doing Weight Watchers right now. So I'm trying to really watch my portions and knowing that I will want snacks. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had a way to kind of know how much of each snack I was actually consuming. So I did two portions of Cheez-Its because that's my favorite crunchy snack, like crunchy salty. And then I have some trail mix in here, which I don't really count my trail mix when I'm doing Weight Watchers because um, I just don't, I don't know. 
I just don't. Um, but I don't eat that much of it. It's so like nutritionally dense that you don't really eat that much of it, I find. And then I have some snacks in here. This bottom one has some chocolates in it and the top one has some Teddy Grahams. So just a little, a few little things to kind of appease my sweet tooth if I have one or give me a little crunchy snack. I'm going to grab a couple of things from the grocery store in the next couple of days um, that I'll take with me as well. So I'm hoping to grab a couple packets of like, um, like small packets of peanut butter and a few protein bars and um, probably some beef jerky and some fruit. So things like that I'll bring with me as well so I can snack on that um, when I'm traveling, driving around and also on the plane. Um, things that are easy to pack, but the crunchy stuff, I just did not want it <laughs> to get smushed. So snack towers is the way to go. So I'll probably put one or two of these in the backpack and then um, probably like a granola bar or peanut butter and something else, um, some fruit in the backpack as well. And then everything else will go in my overnight bag. So that's all of this. My outfit for travel is going to be um, this pair of leggings. They're just a pair of black leggings. They have a little like crossover waist um, on the front. So super comfy. And then I'm going to bring this gray cardigan as my like layering piece. I like this because it's really comfy. It's pretty casual. It's like athleisure wear, but it looks dressed up enough that I feel good about like wearing it at work. Um, so it has kind of this like shawl collar sort of a thing going on. And then under this, I can just layer t-shirts and I look presentable, but I'm really comfy and I'm practically in pajamas. So that's what I'm going to go with for my layering piece. I'm also probably going to bring my jean jacket. Um, I haven't quite decided if I will like the two together or if I'm actually going to want that, but I'm leaning towards a yes because my jean jacket is like a staple for me. If I end up wearing the leopard sweater with my leggings and the jean jacket, which I'm kind of leaning towards, then once we get um, to our like destination, we're not in the, you know, traveling anymore. Um, I will probably go ahead and change into this cardigan with just like over a t-shirt. So that's kind of my easy travel day outfit to keep me comfy, but looking presentable for work. Um, as far as shoes, I'm just going to take one pair of shoes and it'll be tinnies because I'll be doing a lot of walking and um, surveying different sites. So I need good shoes and something that's comfortable. So that's what I'm going with for. All right, guys, let's talk toiletries. So here's everything I'm going to bring um, with the exception of this bag back here. Ignore that. But I have my makeup over here. I don't do a ton of makeup. I feel like I always say that in a travel video. But I just like to bring a few things to kind of just freshen up my face, especially for work. So I've got some concealer, um, mascara, and a little eyelash curler. Um, this is for my eyebrows, so eyebrow pencil. I've got some powder and a little highlighter and a couple brushes. That will all fit in this little bag. And then as far as my toiletries, I've got my loofah, this little pouch right here that I will take um, for all of my liquid items. And then I have a couple of little baggies that I did down here. So I've got some packs of emergency, a little baggie with my vitamins in it, um, some flossers, and then Q-tips. Oh, and then all of my toiletry stuff. I've got lotion, um, a daily brightening serum, some face wash, eye cream, and moisturizer, and um, Vaseline, like lip balm. Obviously, I mean, you don't need all of this. <laughs> like, I could easily leave these two things here and just have a super simple... Um, you know, I like face routine, but I figured why not? It's, they'll be fine. I'll just bring it with me. Um, I've got some deodorant, a, like a body deodorant and then a regular one, this body mist spray poopery. I don't know why I'm bringing this because I'll be the only one in the hotel room, but I'm just going to do it. And then my razor, um, toothbrush and toothpaste and body wash. This is the Dr. Bronner's cast style soap. I love this. Um, even in a pinch, I'll use this on my face. So that's just how I roll. I love it. You can use it for everything. And then I did a little baggie of a bunch of hair accessories, hair ties, bobby pins, different size hair ties, and um, a brush and a comb. I'm going to bring my curling iron as well. I'll just pack that like the night before because I'll be using that until the trip. So that's all my toiletries and my makeup. And I, like I said, I'm going to pack a little kit, probably honestly just like a couple of little baggies worth of some medicines, which is actually why I had this out because this is our travel medicine case. So I have in here like Tums, ibuprofen, um, Benadryl. I think I have um, like motion sickness medicine in here. I've got some cough drops. 
So I'm just going to grab a couple of those things and put them in a small um, little case for myself just in case something happens. You never know. Just you never know. So, so guys, that's everything I'm going to pack as far as toiletries, makeup, hair, my clothes for my little work trip. Okay, guys, I opted for a small water bottle. I'm just borrowing from my kids for this side. And then I have my purse in here. I also put my notebook down in here. This is like my planner um, and my notebook. So I use that for tons of stuff. So that is in there. And this guy is good to go. My work laptop is back there as well. It like kind of pushes out the corners of the bag a little bit, but totally fits great keeps its shape really nicely i swapped out the wet ones for this other pack that's like a little half more than half full so i'll use that one and then i put the snacks in the front so i put my laptop in here and then all of my cables are in the little slip pockets back there it's so hard to see in there um everything else is in the top here and then you zip this around and then i put my clothes down in the bottom here I'm sure some people are like, oh, everything's going to get so wrinkled, but I'm not really worried about that. It's just jeans and leggings. So there's that resistance band, uh, all that good stuff. So I think that will be good. Um, I kind of like that a little better, just knowing the laptop is a little bit more secure and kind of protected in there. And truth be told, I'm thinking about not bringing my Bible and using my phone um, and my Bible app instead, but we'll see what I decide by tomorrow. All right, so I am all packed for my work trip and I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good time. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you next time. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe so that you can join us for more adventures. Usually my family comes along, so it's not just me, but I will see you guys there. Bye friends.